kids learning to express numbers in different ways? My name is Steve Reifman. I'm a National Board Certified Elementary School teacher and author in Santa Monica, California. Today I'll share with you three movements that you could use to help your kids understand the meanings of word form, standard form, and expanded form. These are the three terms that kids in elementary school learn the most often, and they're the ones that show up on the standardized testing each spring. Sometimes kids know how to execute these three forms, but they forget what they're called. And these movements help kids remember these terms. So we have word form, and I have my kids repeat after me. I'll say word form, they'll say word form, and they pretend that they're writing out a long number on a piece of paper, so they understand word form. Expanded form is when the kids break the number into different parts based on the number's place value. So with 4,321, for example, the kids would add 4,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 1 equals 4,321. So with this one, I would say expanded form. The kids would say expanded form. And by moving their arms out, they're showing how the number gets bigger. It's expanding when they write out the different parts. For standard form, that's the hardest one usually for the kids to remember, even though it's the easiest one because they're simply writing the digits of the number. So with the, the same number, the kids would simply do 4, 3, 2, 1 with standard form. And when I say standard form, the kids repeat it, and I have them do it in a very ho-hum way, almost to mock the fact that it's very plain. All it is is the number. So I'll say standard form, and they'll say standard form. So when the kids do standard form, word form, and expanded form, it helps them learn these three terms and their meanings. For more teaching tips, blog posts, and other resources on teaching the whole child, please visit stevereefman.com.